Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding out what happens if Arthur doesn't fight Micah when he goes back to steal, or I guess take, Dutch's money in the final mission of the game. So a lot of you guys reached out to me and said that you would like to see if there were any secret cutscenes or lines of dialogue that happened if you didn't fight Micah. And it's similar, but there are some unique differences, and I found that to be pretty cool. So once again, if it wasn't obvious enough, this is going to take place in the final mission of the game, Red Dead Redemption. And I'm not going to be going over everything you need to do in order to get to this point of the mission. Uh, I'll leave links to those videos in the description. But if you would like to get to the point where you take Dutch's money, as John and Arthur are escaping, you have to make the decision to abandon John and go back for the money. Come on, Arthur. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. I'll see you around, John Marston. Be safe. Dutch. Micah. Come and get me, you bastard. Dutch! Micah! Come and get me, you bastards! So I think the game considers this to be the less honorable ending because as soon as you do that, you still give john like all of your stuff like your hat and satchel and everything but as soon as you accept it you you lose a little bit of honor and uh, essentially what you have to do is fight your way back through all the pinkertons that you just spent like a good couple of minutes running away from so it doesn't kind of make sense in that regard but arthur basically just goes on a massive rampage and ever so often he will call out to micah and dutch and I don't know if Micah and Dutch can be found on your way back. That might be another experiment for another day. But eventually you will make your way back to Beaver Hollow where you will find it to be up in flames from the Pinkerton attack. However, going inside of the cave, if you retreat to the far back left hand corner, you will find that underneath the wagon is Dutch's chest. Now you don't actually take the chest, you just remove a sack of money and it is a lot of cash. Remember the amount, $42,875. It's over like $1.5 million in today's money. So it is a ton of cash, like a life-changing amount of cash. So that's why Arthur would be so interested in going back and getting it because it would allow him to do so many things. And when he leaves the cave, he gets attacked by Micah, who must have been waiting for him and ambushed him. So this fight is a little bit different because instead of it being a fist fight, it actually turns into a knife fight. So Micah actually stabs us and we basically grab the knife out of our side and use it to defend ourselves. So that's kind of interesting that this option, this ending right here, turned out to be a bit more violent, like a street fight with the knives. So that's kind of interesting. So. In case you're curious what happens if you just straight up don't fight Micah, like outside of the cutscenes, well, you get stabbed. This is what happens right here. He literally just stabs you. There's no special cutscene, though, uh, or anything like that. 
Now, I was a little bit shocked because as I was going through this, there were a few of those like action time moments where you would need to like either block or grapple away from Micah. But doing that didn't result in any special cutscene, so I was a little bit disappointed in that. However, there is a certain part in the knife fight where you actually hurt Micah. You sort of slash your knife near his face, and what will happen is you'll actually cut his eye. And if you don't fight back after that, this is what will occur. <laughs> and you're dying. Oh, ah! oh, you got me pretty good, Black Lung. Come on now. Let's end this! <laughs> You're going to die. Oh, I got you, sad bastard. Die! Oh man, that was so brutal. Micah like stabs Arthur right through the throat. Oh, that was brutal. So that was actually the only unique cutscene and sort of line of dialogue that I noticed right there. And if you fail at that part, it actually resets you back to the beginning of the fight. So there aren't as many like checkpoints, let's just say, in this version of the fight as there is in sort of the other one. And if you are able to break free, it will sort of lead us to the final cutscene of the game. Oh, you got me pretty good, Black Lung. Come on now. Let's end this! You're going to die. Stop this. Just stop this. Both of you fools. Ah! He's turned, Dutch. I told you. He's turned. He no. came back here to rob you. I didn't turn, Micah. You did. Tell Dutch what you said to Agent Mountain. Shut your mouth. You're talking nonsense. You're the rat, Micah. I'm Molly, Dutch. Him. You're dying, Black Lung! Yeah, you're dead. Inside, you're dead. Come on, Dutch. Let's get the money and get out of here. Dutch. Let's go. It's nonsense! Of course it is! Now, a lot of you guys were asking about this in my other video. In case you guys are wondering, the reason why, you know, in this instance, Micah runs away and goes into the cave, whereas in your ending, he might have done something different, that all depends on your honor. So if you have good honor versus low honor, it will be one ending versus another. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't really affect the outcome of the story other than just what Micah does at the very end. Now, I want to get back to that slash on his eye, because if you choose this ending, it actually has an impact on the final mission of the game, American Venom, where you actually reach Micah on top of the mountain, and uh, if you actually chose that ending, he will have like a scar over his eye. However, if you didn't choose that ending, he will obviously have both of his eyes. Pretty cool that Rockstar went to that level of detail right there. However, as you guys know, after American Venom, you can go back up and actually find his corpse and his revolvers. And no matter what ending you selected, the corpse will have a slashed eye. So I don't know if that is just an oversight from Rockstar 
or if someone went back and literally slashed one of his eyes. That seems a little uh, cruel and certainly seems a little bit unusual. But uh, maybe someone did that, I don't know. But anyways, that right there is what happens if Arthur chooses not to fight Micah in the final mission of the game if he chooses to go for the money instead of helping John. This time there was only one sort of unique cutscene. It was pretty brutal, I will say that. Honestly, I'm a much bigger fan of the fight they have on the cliff. And I'm also a much bigger fan of Arthur actually helping John. Going for the money, it just seemed like a, a waste. Like he almost knew he wasn't going to get away with it. So you didn't help John and you didn't get the money. So this is sort of like the the lose-lose ending. Whereas the other one is like the, the win-lose ending. Because you are able to help John escape. And uh, it is such a sort of a happy ending in that regard. But anyways, that's all the info that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.